I have four items I want to visit with you about this evening. The first of these is an update on our Intelligent Traffic System, or ITS. Um, phase one, of course, is uh, nearing completion. Phase one is on 2nd Street. We hope the contractor, uh, who is Mid-State Traffic Control, uh, will be finished around or by the end of November. Uh, the Traffic Management Center in our Planning and Public Works building next door here on the downtown campus is now in operation and is now staffed. Uh, it will become fully operational with the completion of Phase 1. The Phase 2 design, which involves 26 intersections along Broadway, should be completed soon, and our engineering staff will apply for some ACOG <coughs> excuse me, funding assistance uh, in December uh, to help with that project. Uh, we also anticipate at least three more phases that will be completed in the future uh, as funding becomes available. And we've heard from several people periodically in the past as to some confusion as to what ITS actually involves. So I tried to come up with a simple definition that has been blessed by Mr. Manick. So that's, that's official in my book. Um, ITS involves the replacement and upgrading of traffic control equipment at intersections throughout the community uh, to facilitate better traffic control in general, but also to respond quickly to specific situations as they arise. And I think if we keep it in that concise definition, maybe that will help people understand what we're trying to do with the whole project a little bit better. Just a reminder that the matching funds that we've used for ITS to date has come from the capital improvement sales tax as well. The second area is Covell and I-35, uh, the uh, public-private development partnership. Uh, right now, internal roadways are being constructed into the northwest section of the development. Uh, and those roadways will provide access to the hotel conference center. Uh, that road work is scheduled to be completed in April of next year. Now that the private financing has been put in place for the Hotel Conference Center, uh, there have been rebids that have been done by the private development group uh, for the subcontractors involved, and those are due back uh, by the middle of this month. And the project is scheduled to be under construction by the end of this year. The sports complex design has been completed and a contractor has also been selected on the northeast corner. Uh, the development group is also working to find uh, to complete that financing package as well and they hope to have that done in the near future. And just a reminder that the ODOT road widening project for Covell from Fairfax Lane to I-35 uh, is tentatively scheduled for a state bid letting next February. So a lot of pieces are starting to move forward internally and we think, think we'll see some activity out there in the near future. Uh, the third area that I want to talk about is our sales tax. Uh, we just received our fifth check of the current fiscal year. Actually very little change from the cumulative year to date percentage that we had last month. Uh, we're still about 1.9 percent above last year which is still below our 2.5 percent annual budget projection so it's so holding steady but still below what we projected and the last area i want to visit with you about is uh, the holiday ice rink that's a good photo i don't know where you got it's good very good uh, we are again partnering with ice challenge enterprises to provide this event and this will be the second consecutive year that it will be held at Mitch Park. Uh, this year's season will run from Friday, November 20th until Sunday, January the 10th. Uh, 